It's been three weeks since Hurricane Adalia hit Central Florida, and recovery efforts continue in some of the hardest hit areas. I spoke with a volunteer from Southern Colorado currently in Florida aiding those efforts, and he says the devastation to these communities is still extremely visible. This specific area, there was about six feet of water that has uh, infiltrated the homes and uh, has caused lots of damage in this specific area. Phil Martinez with the Red Cross of Southeastern Colorado is aiding efforts in Yankee Town, Florida, where he says residents are still dealing with the aftermath of Adalia. The resiliency of the folks that I see out here with me right now, as you can see behind me, is just one tree that was literally snapped. Uh, you know, uh, roofs gone, uh, exterior walls are gone. Uh, you know, these folks are still trying to, to deal with power issues, uh, feeding issues. And says they'll likely continue to deal with it for the foreseeable future. You know, I think it's going to be a lot, it's just such a long haul, Lauren. Uh, it's just uh, day after day. You know, you just see folks that are putting in uh, 15, 16 hour days going going back to their, their temporary shelter and then coming back and just cleaning up. Uh, it's just the devastation that, that it caused is just tremendous. Uh, and it's going to take months and months and months to get it fully to where uh, they at least have some semblance of, of, um, of, of a home again. Martinez says the best way to help in the Red Cross's efforts in Florida is to volunteer or donate. A link to that page is available in this story's article on our website, kktv.com. From the 11 Breaking News Center, I'm Lauren Watson, KKTV 11 News.